Hey everybody, this is Daryl at Hudson's Custom Machining with a shaky hand. <laughs> Trying to focus up close on this Emerson badge here. And we'll back off. We'll back off from it. And this is the 1918 Emerson 27666 that I did a, a video of yesterday which was supposed to be the final video of this series. I think it was part number six. But today, just today, I found this really cool um, rotating table here. Um, I think it may be called a Lazy Susan if you were to put it on a table and maybe put food on it or something, but uh, it's actually an old barrel top. Um, it's got some really old wood in it and this is the top to an old like an old keg type barrel that uh, a cooper would make to uh, make wine or or um, like the old Jack Daniels barrels that you see that's got Jack Daniels stamped into them so that's what this is you can see the bevel here how the bevel is cut and how all the staves would fit into this uh, would wedge into here but anyway, I thought I'd do one last video on this fan right here, and maybe I could rotate it around. I was having a little trouble yesterday. Um, wanted to show some things on the fan, but uh, the lighting is just not good in here in the shop, and I was trying to hurry up and do that, that video yesterday, and I really did it kind of hurriedly. And I thought what I'd do is, is go back today maybe and and be able to rotate it around so you can see um, maybe a few more details. One of the things I'll point out, I had to make a lot of screws. Well, I didn't have to. I could have used the original ones. And here's some of the original hardware that I did not use. I opted to replace instead of reusing some of these old uh, steel screws that uh, that came out of there. So uh, what I did is I just made these made these over and I made them in brass. This these uh, particular screw right here is this one here that holds the pivot knuckle uh, where the fan tilts uh, forward and backwards. And uh, so I made I made these in brass and I made these screws here uh, around this collar in brass. And uh, let's see, coming around the other side, kind of same thing. Um, so looking up, let's see, there's, uh, here's another thing I replaced that was a steel screw that was painted and I opted just to make new ones in brass. And also, if we can get it to focus here, um, uh, there we go, it's not wanting to focus real good. Let's see if I can get my hand in there. Get my hand behind it, maybe we can focus on this. These are Emerson Acorn nuts, and they call these double stacked because they look like two nuts stacked on top of the other, but they're all one piece. And I make these here in the shop too for folks that want to replace. A lot of times these things are, let's see if I can draw in on this one here. A lot of these times these things will be all chewed up where people try to take them on and off with pliers and things like that and uh, here's the screw that, that holds the, the handle to the top of the motor. We replace those the ones on the gearbox back here that holds the gearbox if you recall in in video part number one this screw was missing altogether there was just a hole here there was no screw at all but these three screws there's one under the bottom here that holds the gear on I mean the gearbox on uh, those are steel screws and they were painted black and I just opted to make those out of uh, out of brass so just one final look at the Emerson 27666 as I use my cool new, well it's not new, it's new to me, little rotary table here to rotate this thing around 
so you can see some of the detail. Alright, so that's that's about all for now. I just found this cool little table here and I thought, man, that would be, really be neat to, to put something on that you wanted to sort of rotate it. And I'm trying to figure out how I can hook up some kind of a, a motor to um, to just make it spin real slowly around on its own. I'm turning it with my hand now here real slow. But anyway, guys, that's it. That's all for now. Let's go back here and we'll finish where we started right here on this on this Emerson badge. Oh, I've still got to do the motor tag as I pointed out yesterday. Still got to do the motor tag and then it'll go up on top of the motor. Okay, so here we go. Zooming back in again. All right, guys. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and we'll catch y'all on the next one. All right, take care.